Hello everyone, welcome to episode 25 of this super awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I talked about consistency and how I think fundamentals play a very big role in that. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the fundamentals life hack, the cheat code to make your fundamentals way, way better than they probably already are. So that is something that I call the auto method. So I will show you guys how to set up your skin because there's a certain skin element that you need to have for auto method. And then I'll explain all the nitty gritty on how it works and things like that. But first, before I get started, I do want to shout out that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash digital hypno. So if you want to hang out with me live or watch me play this game live, anything like that, I highly, highly suggest you stop by and say hello. But uh, yes, and oh, also, also as usual, bonus points. If you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, I'll be very, very happy to see you there. Oh, specifically, okay, so th this episode is, is a very special one because auto method is something that I've incorporated in my own gameplay throughout the years. So and I think it's helped me a lot. So if you specifically tell me that you came from the auto method episode, then that will be like giga bonus points, like just the highest amount of bonus points you can get. So. Um, Yes, anyway, let's get started. So um, there's a skin element, like I mentioned, that you uh, have to put in your skin. So I will show you how exactly to do that. So you go to your options, which um, by the way, also you can just press Control O on your keyboard. That will also take you to the options and um, go over to the skin section. So you're going to want to probably use a skin that you don't use super often. So for me, I personally use this version or this skin for auto method. You click this open current skin folder button and that will open something like this. So well it, it would take you to the top, right? But um this is the skin element that um that we want to put in the skin. So I have another folder right here. So this folder I will have a download link to these skin elements in the description, but you'll get a download link of these four images. And you want to basically just drop them in your skin. There's also this readme file that uh, you can check out if you want, but basically it just explains the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. But yes, so just drag these over to your skin. So in reality, you only need one pair of these. But if like, let's say, for example, your current skin has like slider B and then you put in slider B zero or vice versa, then it might show the wrong version in your in your actual game. So I would recommend just putting in all four versions of the slider ball skin element. So just move those over and then you can replace the files if you want to. If you really want to, you can make a backup of the skin or the, the slider ball skin element that's already there. But let's just go ahead and replace the files and you should be all good to go. So to replace or to refresh your skin in game, press Control Shift Alt S. That will reload your skin. Alternatively, you can also just click off of it and then click back on the skin that you want to use. So it's a control shift alt s. Oh my god, it's so loud. Okay, oh my god. Um it's a control shift alt s. The way I remember that, because it's a lot of hotkeys, but or a lot of buttons, but basically uh it's just like all the three common like shortcut prefixes and then the letter S, which stands for skin. So yes, that is how I remember that. But anyway, let's get started. So Auto method. What is auto method? So basically, it revolves around making your gameplay look exactly like auto mod. So you take a, uh, let me just play this map with auto, for example, just so you see what I'm talking about. So there's this mod that basically plays the map perfectly. You can watch the cursor movement and see exactly how it does that. And the goal is you basically, you want your gameplay and uh, auto's gameplay. To look exactly the same like you could put your replace on top of each other and there would be no difference effectively uh, so that is the goal so landing in the middle of every object staying in the middle of slider balls and moving in a straight line between objects i think the only things that aren't really necessary for this is you see how auto kind of like has this like slow like when it when it reaches a note it like gradually slows its like velocity you don't really need to do that um, also, auto spins at the maximum possible speed. You also don't need to do that. But uh, yes, this is basically the ideal. So it's landing in the middle of everything. And the reason we have the skin element is because... So let me go ahead and get started. And then we'll talk a bit more about um, w how exactly this works and what I think it helps with. So you can see there's a red dot in the slider ball. That's the skin element that we put in. And you basically want to keep that covered at all times. Like 
Ideally, you never see that red dot at all. So uh, one way you can sort of predict where that red ball is going to be is, oh, if I pause, okay. So you see in the slider, there's like, there's sort of a gradient, like there's a really light spot in the middle of the slider, and then it sort of goes dark as well. Um, that's basically the track where the dot is going to be. It's the very, very center of the slider track. So you can sort of use that as a guide. I, th this is the real focus test. I don't know. I've never done this while talking, really. So, but yes, okay. So, oh gosh, wait, hold on. I, I have some, I have some notes here to make sure I, I cover everything. Um, okay. So, yes. Let's. Okay. So, pa pa okay. I'm, okay. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. So, the. Okay. So I would say there's like seven main fundamental skills that Auto Method touches on, um, and I'll cover. I'll try to cover each different skill in this game in their own separate episode in this series. But I do want to shout out that I have covered all of them already in my video named OCPHD, which is a much more structured format video of mine where I explain every skill in the game and basically how they all work, how they tie into each other. So if you have not seen that video by now, <laughs> um, I'm not sure how you got to this video first, but I would highly, highly recommend it. Honestly, just pause this video, go watch OCPHD. Okay, actually, no, no, finish this video, actually, to be honest. <laughs> but um, after this video, definitely check out OCPHD. Uh, it'll be in the, like, end screen, you know, like, at the end of the video. It has, like, the little suggested video. It'll be there so that you don't forget about it. But, uh, yes, I really, really recommend you watch that video. But, yes. Okay, so, first fundamental skill that Auto Method touches on is, I would say, cursor control. So... Obviously, you need to be able to keep your cursor very, very stable, uh, obviously, <laughs> for this to work. That is effectively what cursor control is. Um, next, okay, so next skill that this trains is precision. So precision, by definition, and this is something that I talked about in OCPHD, is just landing in the middle of circles. And it applies mostly for, like, very small circle size, because obviously, okay, well, basically, with really high circle size, you just have, like, less room for error with landing in the middle of the circle. But effectively, if your precision is very, very good, then um, yeah, you, you'll be able to play a high CS or a small circle size very well. But uh, yes, that, that is effectively what you're training by trying to land in the middle of everything in auto method. So yes, that is that. So okay, next skill that I think auto method touches on is rhythm. Oh, so rhythm and rhythm sense. So the thing with rhythm sense is so rhythm at its core is like all about being able to follow the metronome of a song and effectively all that auto or all that one star maps are is just a metronome like if you think about it these maps are so inherently simple that you're really just tapping to the metronome of the song like all these notes are okay so i've talked in this series about like one two you know one four rhythm things like that one star maps are usually only one to one or one one rhythm, which is just another way of saying, you know, it's just to the metronome. So uh, that is that. So if you're really struggling, I think with like core fundamental rhythm, then this honestly helps with that too. So that is that. So the next thing that I think Auto Method helps with is following sliders. So. If you are someone who has a bad habit of um, like dropping slider ends or leaving sliders early, Auto Method forces you to stay on the slider the entire time, and it builds that habit of like really following a slider all the way through instead of just getting lazy and leaving. So it's a very very good way to practice that. Um, so that's that. Okay, so okay, three more things, three more things. So number five is <laughs> this. Uh, auto method, honestly, auto method is insane, I'm telling you guys. But anyway, um, so fundamental skill number five, it helps with very, very basic pattern processing. So just like fundamentally being able to take one object at a time is actually very, very important. Um, and you could even practice chunking, to be honest, like at a very fundamental level. Chunking is something I mentioned in, I don't know, what episode was it? Um, the, the episode on reading, I don't remember, but I'll have it linked in the, in the little card in the top right corner there. But anyway. <laughs> um, it's fundamental pattern processing is I think very very important for consistency, focus, obviously um, all that good stuff so okay, very good map by the way, solid this is my auto method starter map that I like to give people 
Now I have a collection of maps that I think work very well with Auto Method, obviously, which is this one. And I will have all these maps linked in the description so you can check them out. But um, yes, okay, okay, let's keep going. Which one do I want to play? Let's probably do this one. Perfect mod. Do you think I can do it with perfect? Uh, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys uh, these mods, but basically, perfect mod, if you drop your SS, then it'll automatically restart the map. You don't even get a choice. It doesn't even take you to the fail screen, it just automatically restarts. But you know, apparently, the scores for with perfect mod from 2015. <laughs> so let's see, let's see. Okay, so yes, that was number five is oh man okay these sliders are a lot faster than the last map um yes okay so that was pattern processing the sixth thing that i think auto method helps with is focus because the focus is actually a big one but i think auto method actually touches on focus very very well and the reason is that trying to like focus on each individual note basically especially with like needing to cover the red dot it gives you something to micro focus on basically i think that that's the best way to put it like when you're trying to focus on, especially like keeping the red dot covered, like usually when you drop focus, it just kind of happens randomly in a map and like you don't even, you don't really notice until it's too late. Like you just, you miss or something like that. Um, but with auto method, as soon as you drop focus, you're going to notice because you're going to see the red dot and it'll sort of make you realize, oh shoot, I uh, should probably pay attention, right? So yeah, I think having something to micro focus on is really, really important for maintaining your focus at like a sort of constant level throughout a map. So, so that is thing number six that I think auto method helps with. Um, and number seven, okay, so actually number seven is, is sort of split into two things. So number seven, really what I have written is flow aim. Um, something I haven't covered yet in this series, but uh, as I mentioned, it is covered in OCPHD. Uh, flow aim basically involves like moving your cursor in a sort of continuous smooth motion, uh, usually when playing streams or something like that. And um, so yeah, moving sort of in a constant velocity through streams. And if you notice on these sliders, it's also all about moving in a constant velocity through the slider by covering the dot. So effectively, it's the same skill. Um, hey, I made it, SS, let's go. I probably outspun myself. Oh wow, yeah, by a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let me check my local scores. Oh. Dumi, let's go. Oh, I told Dumi about Auto Method. I told him to try it on this map with <laughs> halftime. Um, I think, uh, yeah, that, 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 was, that was a good time. It was a good time. I, he was like, oh my god, I can't aim anymore. And then he was like, OMG, this doesn't work. But then in reality, it was just like 5 a.m. for him and he was just too tired. <laughs> anyway, um, Dumi, probably not the best advocate for this, but uh, that that is besides the point. I've, I've suggested this to a lot of people and I'll, I'll get into this a bit more in the episode, but um, yeah, definitely high success rate with improving fundamentals. So uh, yes, I'm fairly, I, I'm actually very confident in suggesting this to you guys um, as something that you can incorporate into your sessions. And I'll talk again, I'll talk later a bit more about how to incorporate it. But yes, okay, so those are the sort of seven, okay, so I was talking about flow aim, right? So um, there's basically two types of aim in this game. There's flow aim and there's what's called snap aim. Um, which is sort of the opposite. So flow aim is all about like, you know, moving in a smooth motion like this. And then snap aim is more about like, like sort of stopping your cursor at each note. And I think auto method actually touches on both of those because when you're landing on the centers of each circle, you are uh, training snap aim. And when you're following the sliders, you're training flow aim. So actually very, very, it, it really hits on everything. <laughs> um, Okay, okay, so other fundamental things that auto method helps with. So as you notice, I'm, I'm playing hidden on this map. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, don't, don't talk and play hidden low AR at the same time. Um, <laughs> okay, I already have a score on this. I'm, I'm just going to keep playing. Um, but yes, okay, so man, okay. Um, so the thing with auto method is that like since you're playing such low star maps, um, and by the way, the reason for that is because, like, since these maps are so slow, um, it helps a lot with, um, like, it forces you to be very, very stable, I think is a good way to put it. And um, there's kind of a skill curve to auto method as well. And um, in that sense, you can definitely, like, improve your ability. <gasps> oh, okay, yeah, I really should not talk. In truth. Okay, anyway, um, hidden is very hard. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I'm so, I'm so just focused now. I'm trying to not mess up anymore. Um, 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I actually don't remember what I was talking about. Um. Okay, I I'm just gonna move on then. Okay, so hidden versus nomad. So, oh, okay, I, I do remember. So since since these maps are like so so slow, yeah. Th so the the reason why you're playing one stars is because um it forces your stability. But auto method is definitely it, it's like it's basically just a play style um that you like sort of dabble with for the sake of improving fundamentals. Technically, it's a type of play style that you could incorporate like no matter what. Like, even if you're playing extremely hard stuff. But honestly, auto method is, it's like, um, it's like Terraria expert mode. It's, it's like, um, Minecraft, I, actually, I, I don't know, like, like super modded Minecraft or like modded Terraria. If you guys have ever played, uh, Calamity Terraria, uh, this is, this is basically the same thing as, as at least auto method. But the, the thing is, right, like, if you, um, when you play Calamity Terraria, or like, it's a very, very hard modified version of a game, and you go back to vanilla, you go back to the base game, it's like, man, this game is so easy. Um, and that, that's basically auto method. Like you, you train auto method for a while, and then you go back to playing Osu the normal way, and you're like, "Wow, Osu is so easy. This game is so easy." And then you're like, "Wow, let's go. Auto method is just the way." <laughs> but yes. Anyway, okay. So um, regarding, oh, okay, which map? Those. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this one. I'll do this one. Um, so regarding mods, so hidden versus no mod. So yeah, I would suggest not using hard arc or double time when playing these because it sort of defeats the purpose. The whole point is that it's very slow and requires a lot of stability. And when you use those mods, it, it sort of it sort of defeats that purpose. But regarding um, hidden versus no mod. So okay, so ideally, and this is a f especially if you're oh what if your goal is to become well rounded as a player, then this is especially true. So, I would say you should use Hidden or Nomad, whichever one you're least comfortable with. I think well-roundedness is all about just doing what you're least comfortable with until you're comfortable with it. Like, always focusing on your weaknesses. So, and ideally, as a well-rounded player, you're going to be able to play both with and without Hidden at roughly the same ability. So, in that sense, like, so for me, for example, I... Um, so, so when I started doing this, I was way more comfortable with no mod. So I would play these maps with hidden, just to sort of try getting my hidden experience level up to speed with my no mod experience level, basically. Um, but actually, like when I first started doing this, my hidden was so uncomfortable. Like I pretty much couldn't even read these maps with hidden. So what I would do is um, I would play the map first with no mod, and I would get a no mod SS. And then I would play the map again with hidden, and that would basically it would help me get used to the map. Oh man, these okay. This map's actually really good for auto method because the patterns are so tricky. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I would play the map first with nomad to sort of get used to the rhythm, and then I would play it again with hidden, and it sort of helped me get adapted. It's basically okay. You guys know if you guys have ever played Pokemon, it's like when you're switch training, um, a Pokemon, you at first you need to switch train it like. Like immediately, like at the start of every fight. But then at a certain point, you're like, okay, maybe maybe this Pokemon can start winning fights on its own, right? And then eventually, that Pokemon's able to solo some fights, uh, and, and then you don't need to switch train it anymore. Basically, it's sort of like the cycle. Um, so uh, th that's effectively what I would do. So um, then eventually, my hidden became a bit more comfortable, and I was able to just play maps. Uh, yeah, just like play these automatically with hidden without needing to play it in mod first, but. Um, Yes, definitely. Overall, for mods for this, I would suggest using hidden or no mod, whichever one is least comfortable for you. So, and then if you feel relatively comfortable with both, then I would suggest just switching between the two every now and then, like every other map, something like that. So, okay, other things, other things about auto method. So, another thing about just being so fundamental and slow, like these maps, is you can also experiment with like different tapping styles. So let's say you're you have a strong strong dominance towards one finger, uh, one of your tapping fingers. Then when you play auto method, you can just like try tapping with your other finger, uh, or like let's say you're trying to full alternate, like learn how to full alternate. Then you can try doing that on auto method as well. It can help you just get used to it, get used to that tapping style, like a very very fundamental maps, and it really translates well to harder stuff. So, uh, yes, that is that. I feel like this is really quiet for you guys. Like you can't even hear it. Um, I think my desktop volume is really loud. I think that's why it's okay. Yeah, it's actually maxed out. Um, well, okay. The, the 
the main, main point of this episode is me talking anyway, rather than the maps, but um, anyway, okay, I've turned, turned the volume up a little bit. Um, okay, yes, so another thing you can sort of throw on to these maps while doing auto method is just different, tapping with different fingers. Um, yes, okay, so okay, other things, other things, I want to make sure I don't forget anything. So since, okay, so like I mentioned, auto method is basically a completely different way of playing the game. So in that sense, it's it also sort of has its own skill curve. Like you could, in theory, like improve to start doing auto method on like high one stars or like low two star maps. Honestly, just <laughs> you might be like, oh my god, that, that's still such low star rating. But like, if you try this, you'll be very, very surprised. Like it is really hard. And um, yeah, I mean, props to you. If you can even do like a high two star map with auto method comfortably, then you are just insane. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But um, I mean, that honestly, if you can do that, then you're just a beast. Actually, you're just an OC prodigy. Um, but yes, in, in that sense, you, you really do need to start back at very low star maps. Um, I'm actually almost through this collection. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, let's do this one. This one's, I think I have a no mod score on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. 2016. All right. So, yes. Okay, so one thing also is that. Oh, wait, this song just is so quiet. <laughs> um, so I would say, okay, so slower maps work better, obviously for starting out since it's very difficult to get into, but also, um, so yeah, I've been doing auto method for many years, I would say, and I still use relatively slow maps because it forces stability a lot more. Um, so yeah, I would say keep that in mind, even if you do get pretty comfortable with auto method, I think some slow maps in your auto method sessions, it's a pretty good idea. But yes, other things, so slower maps work better, and also I would say older maps work better too, because they have more linear, I, I would say, I think the linear angles in older maps work a lot better for auto method than um, the, mo so modern maps tend to have a lot of crazy weird shapes with their sliders, but I think linear angles help uh, train stability a lot more. So for that reason, I would suggest slower maps and older maps if, if you can find them. And again, I'll have these eight maps linked in the description as a sort of starter pack. So if you're really struggling to find uh, slow maps, you can always use halftime, which basically just slows the map down. Uh, you probably don't want to use halftime because who wants to play a one-star map with halftime? <laughs> but um, it is an option if you really can't find slow maps. Um, one thing I would recommend, okay, so if you want to filter your song list in a certain way, okay, so let's sort by difficulty and go to no grouping, which you can just do by clicking on this difficulty button and then going back to no grouping, this, this little switcheroo. <laughs> and then um, you just go all the way down to low star rating. And at least for me, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to have a lot of like other game mode maps, especially at like very low star rating. So I just type mode equals O, filter only OSU standard maps. Um, also status equals R, filters out those random unranked maps. This status equals R gives you only ranked maps. Uh, this is a very common search filter, actually. I use this all the time or like when I'm looking for maps to set scores on. Um, and so we're sorted by difficulty and you can also filter it by BPM. So let's say you don't want anything too fast. So BPM under like 150 or maybe 140 even. And um, it's a lot of good slow maps here. Um, hopefully, if, if you guys don't have too many maps, then um, you can, I think you can search this on the website, on the OSU website, the OSU map directory. You can also search like stars under two, something like that. and then you can do that on the website and that'll show you pretty much just all, all the best auto method maps, which is like stars under 1.5, something like that. But yeah, anyway, um, yes, I think that's pretty much it. So some miscellaneous things I want to mention. Let me go back to this collection. Um, which, which map should I play? Um, um, is there one that's like fairly short? Okay, whatever, I'll, I'll just play this one. Okay, so uh, cursor size. So one of the reasons why I do switch my skin completely for auto method rather than just using an edited version of my normal skin is because uh, so you don't really want your cursor to be too big because that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, also, OK, so with a whale cursor in particular, it's actually pretty hard to find the center. Like, I don't even know what part of the whale is the exact center if like if you were to ask me. Um, honestly, I think that's part of the reasons why. Um, uh, yeah, part of the reason why I think the cursor works so well for me. But um, yes, anyway, I would say having a relatively somewhat small cursor 
Um, cause if, if it's so big that it just covers the whole cider ball anyway, then obviously the dot's always going to be covered. It's a little hard to find the center that way. The dot doesn't really help much. So something around my cursor size or a little bigger, maybe. Um, it, it really, like, if you have your cursor too small, then it'll make it really, really hard. And if you're making it, like, you might, you might be, be tempted to be like, oh yeah, 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 you know, I, I want the challenge. I really want to train my fundamentals. Um, just be careful not to, like, make it so hard that you're effectively, like, you're effectively not even able to cover the dot. Because in that case, usually what ends up happening is you just start, like, not even trying to cover the dot anymore because it's, it's, it feels so futile that you just start ignoring it completely. And then that sort of defeats the point as well. So some sort of round cursor, the, the vast majority of skins have. Honestly, I think I'm the only exception, but anyway. Um, yeah, something relatively small. You might need to drop your cursor size to be a little smaller, which um, you can do with the options, actually. Let me show you guys. So you can change your cursor size. So me, for example, I use 0 0.65 in case you guys are curious, but um, yes, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps you. Okay, so, so oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> so, Let's talk a bit about incorporating this into your sessions. So me personally, and if you catch my live streams, the starts of my live streams, I do this at the start of every session, but um, pretty much uh, when I'm warming up. But yeah, I would suggest probably doing this at the start of your session. And the reason is because I think it warms up your fundamentals very well and also trains them at the same time. So it eases you into the game and also um, like trains your fundamentals at the same time. So it's like two birds with one stone. It's a double whammy. Playing auto method at the start of your sessions in insane life hack osu life hack um so yeah i would suggest doing that um you could do it for the majority of a session if you're really trying to improve your fundamentals but over time as you get more comfortable with it i think dropping okay so my sort of rule of thumb proposed um time range guideline is like anywhere from like 15 to 40 minutes ish uh, at like the start of your session, really depending. I mean, the reason, the, the way I came up with that number is just like, that's sort of usually how long it takes me to feel relatively warmed up to this skill and I can move on to other stuff. But um, yes, it, I think that mostly is the best way to go about it because you, the last thing you want to do is like start your session on like, you know, hard stuff and then you're like, okay, I got to do fundamentals, but that involves going down to one stars and that's so boring. I'm already playing hard stuff. so. Uh, yes, I would suggest playing this at the start of your session. I think it works really, really well that way. And um, uh, yes, okay, so one last thing I want to mention is tablet versus mouse. Like, um, I think, like, it, does it really help with mouse or is it like more effective for certain kinds of play styles? Personally, I think if you play with tablet and you hover your pen um, as opposed to dragging it on the tablet surface, then I think this helps the most because cursor control and stability and like, Keeping your hand stable is most important, I think, with uh, hovering. But I have heard success stories, some advocates of mouse players that have um, had auto, auto method help them a lot, a lot. So uh, yeah, definitely, even if you use mouse, it's very, very helpful, I would say. But um, yes, I think that just about wraps it up. If you have any questions about auto method, uh, definitely stop by and let me know. Oh my gosh, this episode's already almost half an hour. Okay, um, I did not realize there's so much to talk about with Auto Method, or maybe I just rambled a lot. I don't know. But uh, yes, anyway, I'm going to cut it off there. I think I pretty much covered everything anyway. So yes, these maps will all be linked in the description. And um, hopefully this was helpful in some way. Please let me know. Share your success stories with Auto Method in the comments. I will be very, very interested to read them. And um, if you're watching this video in the future, definitely check out my channel. Uh, watch the other videos that I have uploaded because I upload these every single day. But uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time.